Hi guys, Steph here. <laughs> what have we got for you here? Take a look at that beautiful, handsome fountain pen. Now, some of you that watch my videos on a regular basis will look at this pen and you'll recognise it straight away. Yes, it's a Swan Maybe Todd fountain pen. Now, this one, well, what I'll do, let me first of all show you the barrel imprint. Lovely and clear. And as you can see there, it says um, Swan Leverless Fountain Pen. Um, underneath it's got the patent. It's got the Swan logo made in England. So a lovely, clear barrel imprint now the unusual thing about this pen is that normally on the bottom here you will have the model number imprinted to the bottom of the of the barrel unfortunately for well unfortunately or fortunately for some reason it doesn't have one now i believe this is the 2060 fountain pen it's a large, chunky pen, and I believe, as I say, I believe it to be the 2060, which means it was actually one of the um, sort of top-of-the-range pens within the sort of swan range of pens of the period. Now, when I say period, I'm dating the pen, well, very early 1940s, maybe 1941. Um, I believe... Um, this particular model wasn't made that long, so they are a very sought-after fountain pen. Now, when we say leverless, if I show you the the end of the barrel there, you'll see it's got this little sort of knurled knob to the end there, which we'll show you in a moment. But, as I say, a lovely, large, swan fountain pen. When I say large, the size of it from the top of the cap... To the end of the barrel around about 137 millimeters long around the barrel it's a lovely chunky 13 millimeters in diameter so as you can see it's a lovely large well yeah maybe an oversized fountain pen a very handsome pen indeed now let's take you up to the cap. You can see the cap there. It's got it's got quite a sort of large band in the middle with these two sort of smaller ones to each side there. We've got the very recognizable swan ball clip there. There's a sideways view. And we can see it's got the swan logo to the very top top of the clip there. And to the very top, you can see it's got this gold button with a swan. Again, the swan logo to the centre there. So once again, an absolutely gorgeous pen. Now this is one of two pens that I recently found. I've restored them both, put new sacks in them. Um, so if you're interested, what I'll do, I'll do another video straight after this one to show you the other one. But all in all, as I say, um, one of the one of the largest sized pens within the Swan range, as I said, I'm not a hundred percent sure on the model. So, you know, if somebody knows any anything sort of slightly different, why not leave us a comment and help us out? Now let's undo the cap as you can see it's got screw on screw off cap let's show you the pen in different angles as you can see absolutely stunning as i said fully restored a new large neck sack has been installed so we're all ready to go to find a lovely new home for this pen now let's take you up to this 
honk of a nib. <laughs> so first of all, the section there you can see quite a small section. It's got this slight ridge towards the nib there. Quite a, a small one. But let's show you this nib. What a beauty. As you can see, nice and clearly, it's a Swan number six nib. Absolutely stunning. Now the number six nib, as far as I'm aware, it's not the largest nib within the Swan range. I believe there was a number eight nib, which I've not come across. But the number six, as you see here, again from maybe Todd, made in England, is a large nib. Now when I say large, um, what I'll do, let me show you this picture here. There you go. So you can see to the left there, that's the nib, the number six nib to the left. To the centre, we've got another large nib, that's a swan number four. And to the right, for comparison, we've got a Conway Stewart Joro nib. Now the Joro nibs within the Conway Stewarts were one of the largest nibs within their range. So as a comparison, you can see how big the number six nib is. Okay, so let's come back to the nib here. So as we said, a lovely number six nib. There's a sideways view. Let's show you the feed underneath. We've got the very recognisable sort of ladder feed. You can see one of the fins there is actually broken off and missing. It does not affect the writing of the pen, so don't be con too concerned about that. We've also got, if I look over the camera, there you go, you can see we've got the word swan written on the feed as well. So all in all, a stunning, handsome, large fountain pen with this large nib. Beautiful. Now, how do we fill the pen? Well, as I said, it's a leverless. We've got this knurled knob here. And what we do, we simply turn the knob like so. In turn, inside, there's a bar that sort of catches the sack and it sort of in effect it it rings the sack and then once we turn it back the bar goes back into place and the sack opens up and takes ink right takes ink I know you people like to see the pens writing so let's dip the nib in the ink I'm sure you could hear that bubbling noise going on. Let's wipe the nib. Pop the ink to one side and let's bring on our, our writing pad. And let's see how this dobber of a nib, how it writes. So, what we have is This one may be Todd. I'm saying it's the number two six sorry two zero six zero but that's questionable okay made in England and as we said earlier early early 1940s very early indeed because as I said um, there's another pen that I'm going to show you on the next video which I would say is the upgraded version of this particular pen <coughs> 
excuse me. Now, it's writing absolutely lovely, as you'd expect from these nibs. Now, does it have any flex? I would say yes it does. So if we do some some figure of eights like so and then remember I would say it's writing with a fine line if we apply a little bit of pressure on the downward stroke we can get a little variation in line as you can see there but all in all <laughs> an absolutely gorgeous writer as you can see writing absolutely lovely as we said a little bit of variation in line but writing lovely with this lovely large number six nib so let's pop that to one side we'll flush the pen out once we've done the video let's pop the cap back on and there we have it an absolutely stunning fountain pen one of the largest within the swan range of that particular period and don't forget straight after this video what I'll do I'll show you another swan pen which is also a slightly later version but also a large chunky fountain pen so let's try and find a new home for this beauty somebody will enjoy this pen for many years to come and have lots of writing pleasure so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget give the video a thumbs up don't be shy down below leave a comment subscribe if you haven't subscribed and if you possibly can down below please support my work but last but not least we're back again we've got a few problems out there people there's a horrible virus sort of going around a little bit so please stay safe but for now I'll just simply say bye bye for now